birds are chirping. They're making a lot of noise actually. And it's also yard sale Saturday. Not much, but there's a couple interesting ones that I'm gonna check out. Let's see if I can score. So it's all free. Up, oh, ain't got the. Yeah, I'm after the antiquish stuff. Any old um, woodworking planes, anything like that? Keeping it, okay. There's the old bad mitten. Surprised. This has a lot of stuff. Look at this yard. Clothes. Models. The beats. Mm. Halloweenish. Does it play like? It does. <laughs> you want to hear it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... If it works. Oh yeah. Ah, that's cool. Creepy, creepy stuff. Yeah, creepy stuff. Of course, you can't turn it off. <laughs> oh, okay. A chicken and the baseball glove. The chicken on the nest. This one's not broke. I hope. Let's check out a moving sale. People aren't moving their cars off. Okay. I could probably get 25. Number three, Stanley. Actually, I hadn't been too bad this morning. Come down somewhere to this neighborhood yard sale and then over to a moving sale. And I banged out a little bit of stuff. Not too bad. Uh, now it's freestyle. And it takes us also into... Yard sale overtime! Okay, starting to head back towards the north, towards the north, and hit anything in between. Pink hobnail milk glass. And I didn't know this had value, and it does. So it's mine now. Old beer cans, but not the good ones. Got penny. Oh, these are. That's funny. to go. Who the hell is that? Fred McMurphy? <laughs> Kenny Rogers. No, the big chill. So now to look at the table of gold, you see that it's empty. <laughs> Today wasn't uh, a total bust. Uh, it was small, but maybe mighty. So first yard I pull up in, things are free. So now I can grab stuff for my jewelry jar, which is later going to be interesting. Avon, who knows? Not sure what this is, but I think it's worth at least a thousand dollars. And of course, looks like the old Timex watch. So they'll all go in the jewelry jar unless I find out something is worth $3,000. Also, I grabbed this signed football from Dan Marino, Brett Farr, Steve Young, John Elway, and uh, who the hell's that other one? I forget. Oh, Troy Aikman. But uh, this is uh, a run of the mill. These are, it's not real. So I was thrilled for a second, and it was free. I did not buy it. So that went first yard with the jewelry. Jewelry surprise. Got a nice robin brooch. Maybe somebody will want that for $15.95. Next yard, these fellas. $2 for three nineteen ninety-four characters. I don't know if that's, I think that's broke. Now that I look at it, that's been chewed on, beat up. But they're action figures. You group this crap up, 
it's probably was a waste of my money but i grabbed them anyway i think that's wolverine don't know who he is and again i think that's wolverine next yard i spend a whopping two dollars and fifty cent first thing this is like a brand new glove this cost me two bucks i'm gonna grab these these sell and i think this was one of these ones that used once kid quit and i buy it half size checking on the nest i'm gonna grab them every time these damn things sell i bet you i'll get 15 to 20 bucks for that i don't know if that's a uh one they put together because one part was missing the other part wasn't but that's the way i bought it there's no chips or dings or dangs on this so that's how i'll sell it i will buy these stanleys for five hours and every time this is number three these go for up to 40 bucks and i think i'm gonna get right around that so this is a nice one I don't, people don't care about that rust. They can clean these up quickly. And uh, I don't know what year these are, but uh, I'm going to say they're the 50s. I'm not sure. But I continue to build my empire, and these sell for me all the time. Got several sitting in the wing right now. Buy of the day hobnail, pink milk glass. Now, I left this on the table yesterday. Left it. I didn't think it was any big deal. Uh, why I didn't comp it is because I'm a moron. Uh, I thought milk glass is pretty much dead, which a lot of it is. I've had, I have this in plain milk glass, but then I look up pink milk glass and I see the last two went for $100 and over $100. And then I messaged the person and said, can I buy that off you for the price that i told you to sell it for and she said sure so now it's mine it's got a couple dirt spots but that's fenton i'm willing to bet it's fenton it's nice it's pink melt glass so there is a small loot pile that hat came from uh yesterday friday yard sale this is my yard sale today there's not much and i know nobody's getting all jumpy on it but it's still something and it's still it's my hobby uh i like to do it and i do find some nice stuff so there might be up to 200 hours worth of stuff there if on a lucky day this more than likely is good for your dog or your kids at the beach but i'm thinking 20 probably maybe 15 eh, close to a maybe 40 on a good day and 100 for that the action figures maybe five i'm not even going to bother until i get a bunch of them and this of course going in the jewelry drawer that i am building so you'll see me drop them at the end of this video that's it for this weekend's adventure i believe i don't think there's anything going to pop up tomorrow but that's my loot pile for today it's not mighty but nothing's been mighty the last few weeks except yesterday was banging and a couple of state sales have been okay so there you go yard sale saturday and there is the pile till the next time say later now check out the drop into the jewelry jar okay it's a uh, one of them wine glasses or something or goblet it's not a jar but could be in the future but this is avon by the way that's uh, sold for $13 with the necklace part. And there's Timex. There they go. It's building. When it gets to the top, maybe we'll have a giveaway.